Morning, morning, morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Love Beamer and welcome back to the Beamer. As you know, we've got some problems with this car uh, and I will be showing you those problems very shortly. Mechanic is booked to change that thermostat. I don't want to do it, I'm afraid. Um, I am afraid. So let's get into it. There is another problem apart from the thermostat. Well, it's part of the thermostat. It's not a separate problem, but it's part of that thermostat. So let me show you and explain to you what that problem is. Let's go. five minutes not even that to get that off there was the bit that I lost so that was that's the bit that was screwed in got a little rubber seal on it and that screws into there and the pipe goes onto it now I've got to buy an entire thermostat because of that seriously so is that the thermostat I don't know let's get it all out all the bits out of the way so if we take that off I don't know is that the thermostat? I think we need to get it off to see the part number, don't we? I don't think there's any other way of doing it. So you've got a pipe going onto it there. Oops. You've got another pipe going onto it there. So that's another pipe. I don't know. I don't want to start taking bits off if it's the wrong bit, but I don't, I, that, that looks to me, oh, 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 we don't, we're losing coolant here. Stop it. That to me, this bit here to me looks as if it's part of, um, part of this. So I assume that is the thermostat. So, but it doesn't look like that in the picture. In the pictures on eBay, it doesn't look like that. So whether this bit is not as such the thermostat, the thermostat's the bit behind it, I don't know. But it seems really daft to have to buy an entire thermostat for that. Let me just put the torch in there so you can see it a bit clearer. All right, there you go. So yeah, so that pipe, there's so many bleeding pipes. Yeah, so that is part, I say that, look, we've got screws on the side of that as if How the flip and hell do you get to those screws? So that, that bit there appears, oh, stand up torch. That bit there appears to screw to there. I can see one screw there and I can see one screw there. Is it only two screws, I wonder? Because that is separate to that. And I think it's that, that's the thermostat. And I don't need that. So if I can get that bit off, Maybe I can replace just that bit. Oh God, it's so confusing, man. Let's try it. I'm gonna try and see if I can get them undone. I'll have to pop off that other pipe, I think. There's not gonna be anything in it. It might be difficult to get off, but I think that's what I'm gonna to have to do. Right, I'll be back in a sec. So I've got one screw out, which was there, down the bottom, but there's one over the back there, and I can't get to it. I've got that pipe off as much as it'll go, but all oh, this is in the way. This is the turbo, I think, isn't it? Oh, I don't want to start taking that off just to get to a friggin' screw. This is getting out of my comfort zone on a car I'm not, I'm not familiar with at all. I don't want to end up messing something up. Nightmare this is. Bit of a nightmare, just for that. Just for that. Don't know what I'm going to do about this. Yeah, I might have to give uh, give the mechanic a, sh a shout and get him to have a look, see what he thinks. Right, so here is the thermostat that I bought, 240 odd pounds, and it is the correct part. So it's a lot bigger than I thought. So what, I, what I've had to buy is the entire thermostat. Now, the problem is, so the thermostat goes around that way, that way. So the bit I need is just that piece there. That little piece there, that's all I need. 
that's the piece that's broken and I've had to buy that entire thing. Now, problem is, this is broken. As you can see there, bent pins and all the plastic around here is all broken off. So this is damaged and the bits of plastic are in the box. So as you can see there, they're all snapped off and those pins are as bent as any. The chances are it'd probably be all right, but of course it's 240 quid. Now what I was very tempted to do is just take that piece off because that's all I need. If I took that piece off, put it on there, put everything back together, it would all be working fine. But I'm not going to do that. So what we're going to do is change the whole thing. Very, very frustrating. Uh, and I'm getting the mechanic to do it. Now we've got four bolts, that, five bolts that hold it on. Three at the bottom and two at the top. Which are buried right in there because it's right, right down there. So it goes right back to the, obviously to the block. So I'm not sure whether that's got to come off or not. But how frustrating that just for that, for that little piece, wherever it's gone. Where's it gone? Lost it. Where is it? Can't find it. Lost it. Where is it? There it be. That bit. For that little piece there, I've got to buy that whole thing. So I phoned them up Saturday morning because um, they said they had two on the shelf when I bought this and the bloke said oh the other one's for a workshop job. Um, so they've ordered me one they said we'll give you a call when it comes in so that ho will hopefully be tomorrow. Mechanic's not coming till next Wednesday um, so obviously we have come to a complete standstill on the car because without this on we can't build it all back up again which is annoying to say the least so I've, as you know I've had to take it all off so we've come to a standstill again. Um, I can't put anything else on really. The only thing I can do, which I've just started doing in the garden, is taking all those little inserts, big inserts, off the inside of the bumper. One side was done uh, with the fog light in, and the other one I've just managed to get that off the old bumper. Um, and I'm just gonna I've put it into the new bumper. It actually went in quite easy, unlike the other one. Uh, and now I've got to get the fog light in. So I'll, I'll take you around and I'll show you that. Um, but, you know, as I say, we can't put it on. I don't want to put the other headlight in, because I don't know whether it's gonna have to come off to get that fan assembly in because that's a bit of a mystery as to how that's going to go in so i'm going to leave that for the time being because i may have to take the other headlight out as well so let me just take you around and show you um the bumper and you can see that that's almost ready to go on now <laughs> shame the rest of the car's not right so this is the bit this one so it's got to have a couple of screws in it one, one up there and i think that one is where it screws the under tray screws to it i think i don't think you actually have to put a screw in there um but yeah it screws in up wherever it was just there it's all gone in quite quite well. I managed to get it out quite easily, um, even though I had trouble before. It all seems to be in as it should be, I think. Um, the other side is not so, but I think as I know how this fits in now, I can see one or two tabs on that side that aren't in. Um, so I think I might be able to do that. So we've got that fog light in there. The only thing I'm not concerned about as such but we have the fog light lead here we don't seem to have one here so whether that's we'll have to have a look because it looks like the fog light lead is missing but it can't be so I must have taken that off because it is a separate lead so I'm hoping that's still connected maybe it's connected to the other plug on there which obviously connects to the car so hopefully that bits there so I can take that off and put that back where it should be um, and then what I'm going to do is we've got that little little nick there. I'm going to warm that up and see if I can just push that back before I put the other um, grill in. Yeah, so we're getting there. We are getting there. Um, it's just a shame about that radiator business, but come next week, that'll be okay. So hopefully, not this weekend coming, but the following weekend, once we've got that done and we know there's no leaks, the rest of it can all be put back together. All this will be done, and that means we can finish off put all the other bits and pieces on hopefully there won't be any errors or anything and then we can get it over to the body shop that's what i'm hoping is going to happen we will see anyway i'm just going to get all this on and we'll come back uh, and then hopefully that will be the bumper completely finished so i'll see you in a bit right i've improved on that Um, a little dent so now we just need to get these in all lined up
There you go. And they just push in like that. Nice. <sighs> Love it when the plan comes together. Yeah, they, they look nice. I think I prefer those to the, um, to the with the chrome. I think they look nicer. Sportier. Hmm. Right, okay, what's next? So I found that bit of um, wire, but it's actually attached to the loom on the passenger side. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's it. It looks, the plug looks the same. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure. So I think the only thing we've got left to do on here, I think, is um, we bought the little, let's turn this over. We bought the little insert. Let me just turn this over, point the camera at it. Bear with me. I took the brackets, the side brackets off of the old bumper as well, which I put on off camera. I don't know why they why they're not on it, but what we've got is this bit here, which I thought was all part and parcel of this, but it's not, it's separate. That whole piece is a separate piece. So I bought one of those, which I have got to put in, and it should be a case of just snapping it in and it goes. Let me just zoom in on it. It goes there. So let me just go and grab it out the back of the car and we'll uh, we'll put it on. Right. There we go. So this was another 20 odd quid, just for that. Now, we got, I hope this is the right thing. Yeah, I'm pretty, oh, please don't tell me it's not the right thing. <laughs> I think it is. Yeah, it is, yeah. So that pushes into there like so and then we have to push see on this one i'm assuming i've got it probably still connected to the car yeah oh it is on there i know it is yeah so on here we've got it pushed in here now on the car i believe let me just go to the car because i've already located it because it's it's body cut it's uh, black rather than body colored and I had already located it. Is it that one? Yeah, that's that one. So that label there is for the, what's that say? Oh, the louves. Yeah, so I think the wire for that fog light is that, but it's all part of this main loom, I think. Yeah, it's all, it's all part of the main loom, whereas on the other side, it's separate for some bizarre reason. Yes. We're getting there. I feel like I'm getting there. You know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to swap the ECUs over from the headlight. <clears throat> so what I should really do, that headlight's not actually connected, but what I should actually do is connect the headlights up and try them, see if we get any errors. So I'm going to get the headlight out in the garden, move the bumper out of the way, and um, we'll, uh, we'll swap them over, unscrew them, swap them over. I might even put the headlight in position just just for now. I can always can always come off. I might plug it in and try it. Actually, thinking about it, that's not plugged in. I'm not sure where the plug is. Leave it with me. We'll come back and we'll, we'll get all this hopefully plugged in and swapped over and give them a try. See if they do actually work. Fingers crossed. Well, right, excuse the dog barking. I'm going to take these off one by one and put them on put them on the new one and hope that they're not broken
So hopefully the fact that the um, the circuit board in it looked fine, hopefully the fact that it's had an impact is not going to be too too bad. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to super glue that little bit on and screw that one on and then we'll, we'll mount it on the car and plug it in, see what happens. See you in a minute. Right, I think it's, I think they're working. Um, so we've got headlights are on at the moment, as you can see. Uh, I did have side lights on as well, there's no errors coming up. Right, I think now we need to try the full beam. See if the full beam works. Oh, there's my scrap man. Hey! Better unload the scrap for him. Right, welcome back. Here we go again. Um, another few days have passed. Um, been to BMW, I've got my new one, as you can see, that was the bit that was broken. On the other, heat management unit, as they call it. I mean, that's a thermostat. I mean, that, when you compare that to a Fiat 500 thermostat, talk about over-engineered. I mean, how many connect water connections are there? Three. Yeah, three water connect, four water connections plus whatever that is, I'm not sure what that is. So, yeah, so that will be uh, fitted by Glenn, the mobile guy, next Wednesday. Today's Friday, it's being fitted on Wednesday. So once that's done, hopefully we should be able to start building it back up again. I got myself some 4D plates. They look a bit odd because they've got the little st the sticky stuff over them. But I thought I fancied a set of 4D ones. Don't ask me why, I just did. They are road legal, apparently. We'll soon find out if we get pulled over. Um, yeah, not much more to report at the moment, so uh, I'll be back next week when this gets done. I can't wait to get, I mean I have cleaned the car but I haven't done any of this. I can't wait to get this, give this a proper, proper clean. Can't wait. And I will go over the car and machine polish it as well. There, there, there is that little ding on the dent, a uh, little ding on the dent, little ding on the door that I need to get out as well. But I'll probably, I'll do all that once it comes back from the body shop to do the bonnet. So I think, I don't know if I mentioned it before, when I put this headlight in, the bracket that's in there is a little bit bent. So I'm hoping it's gonna come off because that's probably, I've come to the conclusion that's probably why that is sticking out. So it's probably not the bonnet. Because if we look at the bonnet this side, it fits perfect. So I was thinking maybe it's the bonnet, but I think it's probably the wing. I mean, it could, if that, if I'm right, in, I think I'm right in thinking, I've said this before and it's a bit, got a bit dirty again with the rain, but I think there's a little ripple there but I will do what I can with that. If I can get that to straighten up so that's lined up properly, that'll be good. Um, and then it's less for them to do at the body shop, so hopefully it'll just be a repair. But we'll attack that next week. We'll obviously have to take the headlight back off again, but we'll attack that next week. Um, and fingers crossed we can get that. So ideally, I want to take that bracket off, put it in a vise and straighten it because it's a bit tough. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it on there like with pliers and what have you. I think it needs to come off. So hopefully it'll be easy to get to. It should be, um, assuming it is a separate bracket that's not welded on or anything. Otherwise it might be a slight problem, but um, we'll cross that bridge as and when. So I'll be back next week anyway, and uh, we'll get this done. Right, I noticed that this bracket here, I think I pointed this out before, is a little bit on the bent side. Now I don't know, I don't think, that that will come off. I think it's part of, I mean, it might unbolt somewhere, but I think that is part of the inner wing. Now, it's, there, there are a couple of bolts there, but that's, that's to connect that piece to the end of the inner wing. But the same applies down there. There's a bolt there as well. So I think, because I need to get that, because that bit there, is meant to be in a straight line. So that has been, if you look at this one over here, if we can see it, a more or less straight line. It is undone down there, but it's more or less straight. And then it comes round about 45 degrees, then goes straight again. So that has got straightened. Now, I'm gonna try and do it with a pair of pliers if I can. So that bit there is more, should be more or less straight. Because obviously that's, that's where the headlight mounts. So if I can't get the uh, if I can't get that in the right place, 
um, then the headlight's never going to mount in the right place. So I'm going to try it with a pair of pliers or a pair of mole grips, see if I can do it. Um, if not, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. I might have to... I might walk, try warming it up. I'll try doing it first without warming it up. None of this is bent. This is all straight still. It's just literally pushed that back a little bit. So by pushing that back, it's, it's bent it a bit. Let's try it. It might be a bit of trial and error to get in the headlight on, but I noticed when I put the headlight on the other day that it wasn't lining up here. Now, I thought that this is possibly out, and it might be out. Don't know. We might have a little fiddle around with these as well. So ideally, I want to pull this wing in a bit. But again, we can have a look at that when we um, when we do the uh, put the headlight back in. Because I don't know whether it's because the bonnet has shifted one side, even though we know it hasn't the other side. But I'll leave that all for the body shop to sort out. Right, I'm just going to try and do this and see if I can. If not, as I say, I'll heat it up and we'll come back and see if I've made a decent job of it. Actually, it was really soft. Didn't even need to warm it up. It's bent back straight away. It might need a little bit of adjustment from underneath once I get that light in, possibly. So it's a bit of trial and error. But I'd like to get the light in and keep it in if I can. Everything else is all bolted up under here. So it'll be nice to, um, to actually get the light in like the other one. I mean, I've still got to do bolts up on the other one, but uh, in fact, I might take the other one out because I need to see how these go on. I'm not sure whether these, because these are on the new light and I think they go here. And I think they were already on that side and the bolt goes into the top. And I think the same applies down this one as well. So I think they go on here rather than on the light itself. Here's another one, here's, here's one here. So I took these off the light. So I think they just, I think they slip on there like that. I believe. And I've got the same applies to that one as well. I've got another one here. So I don't know if that goes in. I don't know if that goes in on the outside. Oh, <laughs> dropped it on the floor. Not quite sure whether that goes in. Because that's got a little lip on there, which I think is meant to be there. I'm going to take the other light off, I think, and have a look. I'm not quite, yeah, probably like that. Although I think the bolt comes in from the other side. So in which case it would have to go on like that. Yeah, I think, I think that's right. So I think the bolt comes in from here rather than there. Yeah, I'm gonna take the other one off and have a look. Right, I think I sussed it out now. So I was looking at that and as you can see, that is quite open there. And these are on the light, not on the actual car. And you've got this bit here. So I think when I looked at the others, they're all like that, closed tight, closed up tight. And what I discovered by turning this one is actually they're on a reverse thread. Clockwise opens them up, anti-clockwise closes them up. So I think they should be open like that. And then they slip on. Seems really alien. Screwing something up and it undoes. Undoes? Undoes. So they should be open and they should be on the light which is why they were on the new headlight when I got it. Uh, and then they, they slip into those little tabs like that. See, now I can see that one better now. So that, that does need to be straighter, that one. So that's still bending over. That, I need to bring that bit straight. So that bit goes a very, very... No, that bit's straight. Then we've got 45s and then that's straight and the end of it's just bent. So yeah, so I, need, I do need to work on that a little bit more. Um, I can do it using two pairs of pliers, it's fine. But it is quite bendy. But yeah, no, I'm glad I got to the bottom of that now. So yeah, we'll get, we should hopefully be able to get this headlight on properly now. Let's do it. I'm not having an awful lot of luck with this. I spent quite a long time trying to get this on. And I just, I can't get all the holes lined up. Now I don't know. So this one goes on fine. I did spot that there was actually another bracket just there which I hadn't done up, which I still haven't done up on this one. But um, I can't get them all lined up. It seems to be the bottom ones more than anything. So I even resulted to, resorted to loosening this off and trying to move it around a little bit. But because I don't know whether this wing needs to move in. Oh, hello mate. Oh, sorry about that, it was the Amazon man. Um, 
Yeah, so because I don't know whether it's because the bonnet is a bit skew with or whether it's because that wing needs to move in, because it doesn't look like the wing's moved, I have to say. Um, but where you can see there, I mean, it's not done up. It is done up loosely there, under there, if you see. And it's done up loosely at the top. And I think I've done it up loosely on one of the bottom. Yeah, that one there at the bottom is done up loosely as well. But because of that, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just leave that on loose. I am scared of breaking the tabs. I really don't wanna break the tabs on this because these are expensive headlights. <laughs> and I don't wanna break the tabs. I know that I know they'd, um, I'd be able to plastic wheel them back on and hot staple them, but that's not the point. I really don't wanna break them. Um, especially ones you can see. So that might, I don't know if it's gonna prove difficult like it does when you get the uh, Fiat 500 ones on, if the headlights aren't in the right place, because obviously you, you gotta get it in the aperture properly. So I think when, when I get this all done and get this all back on and all working and starting, get, we'll get the front bar on, we'll get the top bar on, air filter thing back in. Um, what we'll do is we'll get the bumper on, but we'll probably just put the top bolts in, push it into the sides, put the top bolts in, and then we'll take it to the body shop like that. And I shall say to them, when you're doing the bonnet, once you've figured out whether the bonnet needs adjusting or whether it's the wing, you can sort out the headlight for me, get that into position, because I just, I can't do it, and, and I don't wanna, as I say, because I don't know whether it's that that's out. I don't think it is, you know? In which case, the headlight needs to move over somehow. So I'm gonna let him do all that, so he can take the bumper off, take the lights out if necessary, and do what he needs to do. It's gonna, it's gonna obviously, I say obviously, he'll probably take the, um, the bonnet off as well to do that, or he might do it in situ, I don't know. But that's that's up to him. Once it's once it's with the body shop, um, and I trust this guy implicitly. He's absolutely brilliant. He's not the cheapest. He's not the most expensive, but he is absolutely top notch. So, yeah, that will be what's going to happen. Uh, so today is Bank Holiday Monday. Uh, Wednesday, Glenn is coming to do that thermostat. So once he's done that, and I'll get him to put the put the uh, the red pack back on. Um, and then we can, uh, at least then we can start it up, make sure there's no leaks, and then we'll be good to go. So then we can start building up the rest of it, get that fan thing back in, well not back in, the new one in, fathom out how that goes on, get the bar on, that'll be quite difficult, I reckon, because they're quite difficult things to get in. But, so we'll do it, we'll do it. Even if it means disconnecting the battery and hitting it with a hammer to get it in, we'll, we'll get it in, one way or t'other. Get the V-bar on, and then, yeah, and then it'll be ready for the body shop. So I'm hoping, I don't think it's gonna be next week because um, I'm not gonna have time next week due to work, but the following week, I think we'll get this completely finished, built up, and then we'll get it over to the body shop. Um, so yeah, we'll come back on Wednesday once we're all um, thermostat changed and all leak free. So I'll see you Wednesday. Right, just a quickie. So. Obviously, you've, you've seen the most recent, what came up before this. Um, as you can see, the bumper is very slightly on temporarily. Um, I'm gonna have another go at that headlight. I'm not sure if I already mentioned this, um, because, yeah, no, I did mention it, forget that. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have a go at that headlight. Um, also, now, now we've got a radiator with no, um, no problems with um, leakage, um, I'm gonna, I can build it all back up again, so I can get that top brace on, once I've got that on, I'm going to have, a, have another go at the headlights, get all that, not that headlight. Although there was something I was going to do on that headlight. What was it? Can't remember. I'm sure there was something I thought about this morning that I was going to do with it. Can't remember. Anyway, that headlight will come back out and um, we'll see if we can get it in better. Uh, and I'm also going to try and ad adjust that wing as well, because if I quickly lift the bonnet up. So we don't know whether it was... You know, when in the accident, you know, there's always a possibility that could have been pushed out a little bit. So under this rubber seal here, you take these little clips out and underneath this little bit of rubber is bolts, a bit like on the Fiat. Um, and so I'm going to undo them and see if we can't push that back in a little bit because it's also proud on here, which I assumed that might be because the bumpers, are, the uh, bonnet's slightly out of shape, but who knows? Um, I'm going to try the headlight first because I don't know whether that gap is because I've got it in the wrong position. I think it might be but this caused me all sorts of problems. But because that 
bracket, not bracket, whatever you like to call it, that little clip thing I think is on the wrong, in the wrong place, means that that's in the wrong place. But however, of course, that is lined up, that one. So I don't know, I don't know whether it's gonna work. So it may be a fact that the, that the, bum, that the wing is completely out. So it's gonna be a bit of a jiggery pokey, and if I have to leave it for the mechanic to do it, uh, for the uh, body shop to do it, then I will. But we wanna get the top of this back on, and then that fan assembly, louvre assembly type thing, which I believe, if I go to this, if I just place this on the top, Bear with me a second. I'll just whack that on there, get it the right way around, might help. So that will sit, the aircon pipes in the way. So I believe that that louvre assembly screws into there and into there. Now I know the V thing goes into there, but I'm pretty sure looking at pictures that that's where that goes in. Yeah, so where it actually screws to at the bottom, I don't know, because that, that screw hole there, out of focus, but you can see it, I'm sure. Why is it not focusing on it? Get on there, that screw screw hole just there. Um, on the other side, that's, I think, believe where the V-brace goes on to. So we'll, unless, it, unless it fixes to the bottom bar, which is a possibility, actually uh, more of a probability, um, in theory, it should only be four bolts plus the electrical connection. So I don't know why I'm getting a bit, not concerned about it, but it was just a bit, I don't know, over-engineered bit of, bit of kit that was not in, you know, it wasn't something I took off the old one because it was smashed to hell, but it shouldn't really take too long. So we'll get this done this week. And then once all that's on, the fan's all on, we can actually, if I can sort out that corner especially, we can get the bumper back on and we can get it over to the body shop, at least to drive it there, get him to have a look and tell me when he can do it. Need to insure it first. But um, yeah, so I will be back at some point this week and we'll get on with this. Right, so, woo, <laughs> I got the top bar back on again. That was a job and off. Um, I have pushed this wing over a little bit. Um, but still not enough. And I just can't fathom out how this goes on properly. So I think what I'm going to have to do, I'm, I'm really terrified of breaking the tabs on there. It's an expensive breakage if I break them. Um, so I've put it on, it's loose, but I put it on with a bit of movement. So when I get the bumper on, <clears throat> hopefully the bumper will fit under it okay. And if it needs pushing up a little bit, it, there's enough leverage there to push it up. But I'm going to leave that for the body shop to sort out for me. It's been a, It's quite difficult getting those top bolts in as well. I don't know if there's just some alignment issues and what have you. It might have been easier to do those up first and then do the top one up. <clears throat> but um, yeah, we're getting there. So I think what we have to do now, I've got these in. I'm not convinced I've used the right bolts, but they fit <laughs> and it's up tight. So I think what we're gonna do now is offer up that Louvre system, which I've been, <laughs> which I've been stressing me out all the way along. Not just the cost, but how the hell it fits on so when we get it out it, may, it might make a little bit more sense so it's obviously got to go in and then I think I think that the v-bar connects to there and there in fact I'll get it out in a second uh, and I think the Louvre so the Louvre system the Louvre system screws hit into here and here and then I don't know where it screws in at the bottom I don't know whether it's here and whether I'm going to, have to take the headlights out again because there are two screws there. Um, that is a distinct possibility, in which case I will have to take the headlights out. Um, or it fits onto the bar. I think it fits onto that leg. But obviously all will be revealed um, once we get the thing out. I still don't know what these are for. They, they screw in there, I've got no idea what they're for. No idea at all. I did have a bit, bit of sponge stuck on there. It's fallen off again. It's this bit of sponge here. I think I've, I think I've uh, lent against it. So I, I need to get the keys actually because I need to get that V bar out. So the V bar obviously goes at the front, doesn't it? So because you can see it through the grill. So that lube system has got to go on next. So I'm going to go and uh, get the keys 
Uh, I'm going to get the louvre system out of the cart and we'll offer it up and see if we can figure out where it goes. Right, I had to take the headlights off. And I can confirm that it does go onto there. Um, it looks like it connects to the two at the bottom as well, which I thought was where the bar went. So I don't know whether the bar goes on afterwards. Don't know, let's get it, let's see if we can figure it out. I'm trying to see where the um, electrical connection goes. I can't even see where that goes. Oh, let's see, there's a, there's a trailing lead, that's where it goes. Right, okay, don't worry about that for the time being. So we'll get that out of the way. So there is, a, there is that other piece as well, and I'm still not convinced I know where that bit goes. So let's see if we can offer this bit up first. This is the bit that con concerns me just ever so slightly. It just seems very daft the way it goes on. Or, or doesn't, as the case may be. So does it go under the intercooler? So that hole there lines up. So that extra bit, I don't know where that extra bit goes. So that sits in there like that. So that bolts to that. Uh, oh, okay. Like that, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That still doesn't explain where that V-bar goes though. Because I always thought the V-bar came this side. But it can't do, can it? The V-bar must go the V-bar must go the other side. That don't really make any sense. So it's got like a rubber seal that seals against the top. This is very, very peculiar. Very peculiar. Someone tell me I'm not going completely crazy. This is the correct bar, and I was under the impression that it fitted onto there and then fitted on down the bottom, but it's... it's Does it go that way? I don't know. Wherever it goes, it makes no sense. Are there holes on that that it goes that it screws through? No. I have got absolutely no idea where this goes. Absolutely no idea. Got a clue. I nearly swear, I want to swear, I really want to swear on camera. I have not got a clue where that goes. Not a clue. This car is doing my Sweden. Absolutely doing my Sweden. Let's fit this piece in again. So we know how this goes in now, sort of. So you sort of shoe, shoe on it in. Shoe on it into position, like that. There you go. So there's no way that that V-bar can come at the front. I wish I hadn't bothered buying that now. Just leave the damn thing off. Where's that power cable? Just there, right, I'm gonna get these screws in on this. Yeah, so it's gonna to have to come off again anyway. Because we've got to try and figure this out. So yeah, if I look back at my previous videos, I can see exactly how I took this off. Because I, I, I'm convinced that it fits into there. But then if that's in there, there's nowhere else for it to go. Or does it fit? Does it fit to the, under there? Does it go in there? Does that go in there first, and then that sit on the top of it? Maybe it does. No, because there's nowhere for it to go through. Oh, this is stupid, isn't it? This is really stupid. Oh my god. Right, I'm going to end now. Um, yeah, we'll look. We'll watch this video, and then hopefully we'll come back tomorrow and we'll make some more sense of it. I'm hoping to get this all buttoned up tomorrow. Get it all finished. Uh, get hopefully get the bumper on, um, and then potentially either tomorrow or Thursday um, we can get it down to body shop. Right, following day. So last night I watched back a couple of my videos, uh, and I took some screenshots. There's one of them there, and. That one there 
and there was another one, where is it? I thought there was another one as well. Yeah, which shows it there, connected to the top bar. So I've had a little fiddle around and I found these little holes. So we have some holes here. So that I'm hoping is gonna fall into place once this is all pushed back and there's another one there. So that can be the only place it can screw up. So I've got it bolted to there. That little screw hole there, we have a screw that goes in there. So that makes sense. So once that's in position, that should screw to it. So I wasted my money on those colored things because you can't see it because it's behind the red pack thing, Louvre pack, whatever you want to call it. So at least I've figured out where it goes. Um, yeah. So I've got it up the right way. There's only one way it can go up. I made sure I got it the right way around. Um, and so it should, but in, by rights, fall into the right place. So I'm just gonna put these six screws into this again. And then I think after that, I think we're sort of ready to put that front bar on. Now that's going to be quite tight to get in, I think, so I may have to disconnect the battery to do that because I might have to give it a, a tap with a mallet to get it in. But we'll see. So I'm not sure. The, I think the other piece of the vent, I think I'm abandoning that, I think. I will get it out of the boot again. Or did I leave it down here somewhere? No, I think I put it back in the boot. Yeah, we'll have another look at that because the guy in the, in the uh, who sold me the thing on LLL parts told me I didn't need the one on the other side, but I did need this one. But I don't see as there's anywhere for it to go. So I think I'll, before I tighten it up, I'll just take it off and see if I can figure out where it goes. Again, I've looked at pictures on online. I can't see anything for it. So it makes me think that it's not meant to go on this car because also I don't recall seeing a bit, a broken bit for that on the old one. Although there was a lot of it in bits. Let me show you it. I think it's in the boot. Yeah, this thing. So I'm not sure, I haven't got a clue where it goes. I think it's supposed to be this way around. Again, I'll have to look at some pictures. Yeah, not sure. But I've got this feeling we don't need this. So I don't, I don't really see what its purpose is. Strange. Anyway, we'll see if we can figure it out and then we'll come back. Right, so I've offered up the bar. I've disconnected the earth terminal in there. And as you can see, I've got the mallet out. So I've been whacking it in to get it into position there, which it is. And then that is pretty much in position. So that is where it's meant to go. Um, but the other side is well out. So what I think you have to do, which is what I should have thought about to start with, and I did have an inkling, is that you need to put those extension bars onto the, um, onto the, 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 what do you call it? Reinforcement bar and then insert the whole thing. Because if you remember when I put those in, they sort of move about and I've done them up, but they move about. So you need to be able to put that in first and then do those side bolts up. So what I'm gonna to have to do is gonna to have to take that out again for the third time. I'm gonna to have to take both of these off, this one and the other side, take that off. I'm not gonna to have to take the top bit off, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I haven't got to take that off. Um, no, I haven't. Take this, take that headlight extension thing off, take the one off the other side, and then we can get to the bolts this side and that side, take these back out again, and then put the put it on, put the bar on, and then put it back. So I'm just gonna do that, I'm gonna get that all taken off, and then we'll come back, and then hopefully we can uh, do it for the final time. <sighs> Man, never again. That's taken me ages probably hour and a half, hour, hour and a half, something like that, something ridiculous. <sighs> I had to take, so what I did is I took the entire thing off. Um, I put that extension bar on, but I couldn't get that one off because I couldn't get to the side screws without taking the radiator out. 
and I wasn't going to do that. So I undone all the other, the, the other screws and the two big bolts and that gave me enough movement. So I was able to push it in that side and then hammer it home, get the, um, get the bolts dropped in. They're not done up or anything yet. They're just dropped into the holes. So I know it's straight. Uh, so I've, I've put the, uh, the two horns on. I'll better test those, make sure they work before I put it all back together. Um, I think I'm finally starting to make progress now. So I think now I can think about getting the headlights back in. I still don't really know. I don't know if this is just for adjustment because this is loose. So whether that's for adjustment or not, I don't know, probably. But all the other bolts, so I've also done up the two bolts on that bar. I'm glad I wasted my money on those um, <laughs> on those things for those v, the V bar that you can't even see on this car. I know it's some sort of stabilization bar. I still really don't see the point of it, to be honest. <laughs> because yeah, I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> it's on anyway. So so I think we're sort of getting it. I don't really know what these are for. Now this is the new bar. Uh, and that one was broken on there, so I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling I might have one in the boot. Yeah, I'm not actually sure what they're for. Is that the same thing? I'm not sure if it is or not. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So I'll put that one there. Assuming it's that side. Hopefully, I don't know if they're sided. No, they're both the same. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Maybe just some some support for the bumper or uh, oh it might be for the foam bit the foam i ordered a new foam bit i was going to use the old bit which there's one bit just there and the other bit down there i've actually ordered one um it's been dispatched but it hasn't arrived i ordered it i think on the first of september and it's what is it today the eighth something like that seventh eighth i haven't seen hiding hair of it yet <sighs> it's boiling day hottest day of the year about 32 degrees roasting so we are getting there now we are finally getting there because ideally i want to get this to the body shop tomorrow ideally so i can um i can i'm hoping he might say yeah you can leave it here unlikely but he has done that before uh, but i'll give him a ring in the morning if i if i can get this all back on to the, tonight and I'll, I'll leave the bumper on loose i'll just do it up at the top and push it in at the sides um, just so I can drive it down and I'll tape the bonnet down because without a doubt I would put those on but these have got I, I called them squibs before but I believe what they are is pretensioners of some sort now there is nothing coming up on the um, on the dash about any pretensioners because I would have expected an airbag light or something like that for those so I don't know whether they've gone or not if they are, then they'll have to be replaced. But I've got no way of knowing at this point as to whether they are or not. And I don't want to put those catches on and then I can't get the bonnet open. Because that would be disastrous. Um, so I'm going to let the body shop do that. So I will just close it down and then I'll put some tape on it to hold it down whilst I drive gingerly to the body shop. Right, it's all on. It is all on. Uh, I've not connected the fog lights up. I've not connected the uh, PDC sensors up, any of that. Uh, I've just put the bumper on and the bumper doesn't fit very well. Um, it's not too bad there. I've just put some black tape on it. This side is not very good. We got a, it, could, it could all to be with the fact that I needed to push it round there, but there's gaps there, obviously, which need to be sorted, but I'm gonna let the body shop do all that. So I've only done the top bolts up. That's the only bolts I'm doing up and I'm gonna take it to body shop like this and ask him to sort it for me. But generally, it's all back together. So I'm not gonna put, I'm not gonna put these on. I'm not gonna put any of that on. I'm gonna leave all of that off. I don't know what it like, it's like when we shut it down. Not too bad a gap actually, is it? Needs obviously sorting out, adjusting. Uh, one thing that I did notice, which I need to try and find, I mean that needs adjusting, but sorry, pointing the camera, is the is that screw there, as it's a thing on the uh, headlight, and that is broken. 
on this headlight. So it just it just all needs adjusting. Adjusting the headlights need to be moved around, and I, I, and I just want to let the professionals do it because I can't do it. Basically, I'm just I've tried and I've tried and I've tried and just not getting very far. So all I need to do is secure that underneath a little bit because it's traipsing. Uh, but I'm not going to do any of the arch liners up or anything like that. I'm just going to put the number plate on the front, put the new number plate on the back as well, and then get it to the body shop tomorrow. Well, I'll take it down there tomorrow. Whether it will allow, let me, allow me to leave it there or not remains to be seen, but it's back together. <sighs> I can't wait to get this finished. I've not enjoyed doing this at all, I have to say. Not at all. It's been stress after stress after stress. I'll be glad to see it all completely finished and then I can drive it. Yeah. So, what's the gap like now? Because I did close that gap up. So that gap's better there now, isn't it? Better, but obviously the bonnet, it, it, the whole lot needs adjusting. I think, the headlight, I think the headlight needs to go down rather than anything else. But I'm going to say, I'm going to let him do all that. Whatever he needs to do, do it. Charge me accordingly. Um, got to the point now where I don't care. I just want it done. So, that's it for now. So what I'll do is I will come back uh, tomorrow uh, and let you know what the body shop said. Uh, and hopefully I might be able to leave it there. You never know. Um, if not, uh, he'll, he'll book me in. But it, it might take a couple of weeks before he can do it. But we'll get it booked in regardless. Uh, and let's just hope he's not on holiday for a month. <laughs> Otherwise I'm knackered. Uh, so yeah, that's it for now. So uh, I will see you uh, tomorrow once I've been back from the body shop. So I'll see you then. Okay, so uh, three days passed since you last saw the car. Um, and now another hot and sunny day today. Um, so I took the car down there on Thursday to the body shop uh, and he wasn't there. I should have phoned him first. Um, he'd shut up shop early, as he often does. Uh, so I gave him a call while I was sitting outside, um, talked him through it, and he told me to come back yesterday, tomorrow, yesterday, uh, half past 10, which I did. Uh, so I took the car down there, he had a good look, uh, and he spotted a few things, that potential issues that we needed to sort of, you know, look at and discuss and how he wanted how I wanted him to go about it. So let me just turn the camera around and I'll show you. He pointed out a few things that were quite obvious and I hadn't noticed, but then he's a professional, so he knows what he's looking at. Let me just quickly show you. So he pointed out that this, you can't see, you probably can't see, you can if I do that. So that's a little bit high there. So he, he said, you know, once that's, once that's in the catches properly, it'll be down like that as it should be. But as you can see, that's high. So that needs some adjustment. Um, he agreed with me about the little crease here, which you can see, and as you move around, get the light, you probably can't see it, but as, as you move around, you can see it. So there's some work needed doing on there, but, he, but then he was sort of, you know, being a professional, he said, obviously this, we've probably got a bent hinge. He'll obviously have to manipulate the wing a little bit, but the main thing is the bonnet and probably the hinge. So it's obviously, it's probably bent the hinge. Uh, and this bit here, is very very slightly high as well so he said that the, it looks like the wing has actually moved so he's gonna have to have a little look at that um, but he said he's looking at it and he's feeling it and he's saying yeah so what you've got is you've got that there has created a crown just here and he said like push if you push here look at that see the way that's moving like that if you come around and do that on this side we swap hands with the camera doesn't move. Doesn't move. The whole bonnet will move if you do that. So the tension on that has created that. See? Just so it's made it pop up. So he said what he needs to do is panel beat this bit, which will obviously cause damage to it, to be able to get this how it should be. And that will obviously help with that. Once he's done that, obviously he's got to repair the front as well so from man hour's point of view there's quite a lot of work to do and he said have you not looked at getting a new bonnet and i said the, the cheapest bonnet i can see in color the only bonnet i can see in color is 450 pounds and that's got some damage sort of around here 
So that would have to be repaired and painted as well. And he said, no, it's not worth it, is it? And then it's got to be taken off, put on. But yeah, it's, it's amazing. I, I'd never spotted that at all. Um, then we put the bonnet up. As you can see, the bonnet was stuck down with tape. Let me just pop it up again. Let me just, I'll just take this tape off and I'll come back. Right, so I, I described to him my issue I was having with, with these clips. And I said to him, I don't know whether that's meant to go on the car. And he said, yeah. I said, well, when I bought the new headlight, they were on the headlight, not on the car. And he went, oh, okay, I think they're supposed to go on the car. But I, and I really don't know. Now, he said, what about the catches? He said, because you've not got the bonnet shut at all. How do you know it shuts? And I said, well, I don't, and I don't want it to, because obviously there's tension in it and so on and so forth. I didn't want to close it and then not be able to open it, because that would be a bit of a disaster. So he said, well, have you tried with the, with the catches down? And, and I didn't realise. So what he, what he did was he did this. He did this. <laughs> Can't get it to stay down now. How did he do it? So basically that, I can't, it might be because I'm trying to do it with one hand. So if you push that down hard enough, I can't do it with one finger. But if you push that down hard enough, it stays there. And then when you pull it, that bit moves to one side when you pull the release. Now this one was sticking. Look, see that? Look, it's hitting that. So that goes under there somehow. So that's popped up. Yeah, so it, it, it's not doing it now, but somehow that see we don't really know whether these are broken don't think they are but that is no oh no that's loose as well i can't do it with one hand but basically you push that down that locks into position when you pull the handles that one was popping up that one was getting stuck and as you can see the paint's off of that there so that just needs that all needs a little bit of adjustment i said to him it could be where i've tightened these down it might be under a little bit of tension and he said I'll sort it out, don't worry. So he's going to sort that out. Um, that's obviously, I told him what it is that I've replaced. So that needs sorting. Um, he's going to take the bumper off. I've got the, I've got the thing now, the, the foam pad, which was actually not wrapped by the company that I bought it for. And it was actually snapped. Luckily, it was still attached, but one corner of it was, was uh, snapped. And the, the driver, the UPS driver did point it out to me. Uh, and said, do you want me to take it back? I said, no, I need it. I said, don't worry, I'll glue it. Sent a message to the people on eBay and said, look, this is how it came. So I sent them a picture. And they said, well, to be fair, he said, um, we'll take that up with UPS. He said, because that's how it would have come from BMW. It wouldn't come in packaging. He said, we left it like that so they could see it was delicate and needed to be treated with respect rather than wrapping it in plastic, in which case it probably would have been snapped in half anyway. So I've used, I've used a, a resin glue, I've glued it back together, a bit of super glue as well around the edges and it seems fine. Uh, so they'll be putting that on, I'll, I'll be putting that on with the uh, position, the passenger protection thing. Um, and then he's going to take all the front off. I've left all the lights. I'm going to test the fog lights just to make sure they work. But all the sensors and that, he'll plug all those in and get all those sorted out. Um, hopefully they'll all work. Um, and he's going to, yeah. So he's going to spend quite a bit of time on this. Um, and so he reckons it's going to be a, about 1500 quid, which is quite a lot. A hell of a lot. It wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting, I don't know why, but I was expecting a few hundred quid. But um, I guess that's probably because I've been used to using that other body shop, who are cheap, but are a bit on the sloppy side sometimes with overspray and what have you. And obviously they left me waiting for a year. For those of you who haven't seen Project Foxy, Click on the link above, uh, watch that series, and you will see, it's quite a long series, but you will see on that, that um, they left me waiting for a year with the car. Literally a year and four days it was in the body shop. Um, so obviously I won't be going back to them. I'm, I'm paying more than I would normally, but I trust this bloke, uh, and I know he'll do it quickly, and he'll make a fantastic job of it. So he's gonna obviously repair the bonnet, as well as all the bits underneath, he's gonna repair the bonnet, paint the bonnet, he's gonna blend in here, and he's going to blow in to the wings as well, just to make sure it's a pro proper match, perfect match. And then once he's done that, it, it will be good to go. The only thing we'll have left to do then, assuming that everything works, the only thing we'll have left to do will be to top the aircon up. And I'm contemplating getting that done first, actually. Getting a mobile guy to come and do it if I can. Um, it's the new gas, so I can't get the bloke I normally use, because he doesn't do the new gas. So I'll have, I'm going to have a little look around and see if I can find someone local who can come and do it because it'd be nice to have that working 
when I get the car back. And if there should be a leak, I'll know about it before the, you know, the bonnet and that is put on permanently. Shouldn't be. The, the, the bolts are done up nice and tight. The, the, the rubbers on them were, were okay. So um, it should be all right. But um, yeah, so it's going to be about 1,500 quid. Now I am taking it down there to the body shop on the 28th of September. So it's like th just under three weeks time. It was three weeks yesterday that I'm taking it down there. Uh, and it, chances are, chances are I'll probably get back within a week. Whether, I don't know, you know whether he's going to spend a lot of time on it in one go or whether he's going to do it in bits and pieces, I don't know. But I reckon I'll probably have it back within a week. So hopefully by the end of September, the car will be finished, done, and I'll be using it. So that's it for the time being. Um, you won't be seeing this. There'll be one more video on this when we get it back. Once we've got it back, then we'll do a final walk around. We'll go over the costs of what exactly what this has cost me. Quite a lot, more than I thought, I have to say but I've still got it cheap and it will be perfect when I get it back. And obviously this video is quite a long one as well. It's, it's probably about an hour long now. So hopefully you found this interesting, uh, a little bit different from the Fiat 500s. And I know some of you have liked the Beamer, uh, some of you haven't, uh, but yeah, I wanted to incorporate this on the channel just for something a little bit different as well. So that's it for now. So as I say, um, yeah, we'll be back when the car is back from the body shop. Um, we'll go over it and don't forget if you're not a subscriber click on the button subscribe to the channel excuse the kids subscribe to the channel give us a thumbs up until the next one take care stay safe and we'll see you soon